All right, we are live. I will wait for people to join and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> Hey, SCSU, can you hear me? Yes, they can hear me. All right, great. I can't see how many people are on through here, but whatever, that's all right. <clears throat> One second, guys. All right, so I have up on the screen my portfolio. As you can see, it was a bloodbath today. Um, everything's red, essentially. Everything's red here, uh, except TLTW, which is the one I actually want to get rid of. Not sure if you guys had the same. And by the way, um, feel free to join the voice channel in my Discord if you guys want to join the, the discussion. I'll get into the yield max funds in a second. And obviously, I'll keep it keep track of the chat as we go too. So, hey, everyone on the chat. Danny Drives, you can hear me. Toolman, Manish. 15 people are watching if you can't see that yet. Thank you, Danny. No, I can't see that on StreamYard for some reason. Um, I'd have to pull up YouTube, which is annoying. Maybe I could do that on my phone on the side. There you go. Twenty-two now. 25, 22, get on with it. <laughs> I'm working on it, you know? Okay, all right, let's get to it. Um, real quick, update on my options. So this is T, I don't know if you guys can see, but this is TSLL. Currently, I own 500 shares with an average of 860. And I have a whole bunch of options here. One, two, three, four, four puts, one, two, three calls. Okay, so if you look at the expiration dates, you know, today is what, the 12th. So I have four expiring today. I have an $8 put um, that will not be assigned because it closed at 768. I have a 750 put that will be assigned because it. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That will not be assigned because it closes 768. But this will be assigned, the $7 put. And then the $9 call will not be assigned because, obviously, uh, you know, it's below the call price. So um, I'll get the money back from these two puts, and then I'll get my shares back on this. And then this, I'll have to spend 700 and buy 100 more shares, and then I'll have 600 with a lower cost basis. So that's the summary Thanks for this. Your screen is too short. Okay. Uh, since you have ulti now and the distro is Tuesday, when do you plan on your estimate? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to put my ulti estimate on with my YMAX and YMAG estimate, which will be this weekend. But to be honest, my ulti estimate will be pretty bad. So if you want a, better estimate you probably have to go to the happy camper the dividends channel that's Corey's channel if you guys know her from the discord she's been tracking it a little better than me of course i can uh you know do my best guesstimate which i will um but ymax and ymag i will also do that as well I'll, I'll try to get that out saturday or sunday to you guys but uh but yeah i'll do i'll do ulti too because it's fun especially now that i own them 
All right, so I'm going to update the spreadsheets, see if I can refresh this, make sure anything changed. All right, so TSLY closed at 15.33. So that's a loss of 0.97%. Tesla closed at 171.05. That's a loss of 2.03%. Can you guys see this? Is this big enough or do you want me to zoom in? How do the floors look? They look good. House is still a mess, though, to appreciate it. But thank you for asking. I'll, maybe I'll send us. I'll send us a, a screen, uh, a picture in the Discord. Danny drives. He can see. Okay, so I assume everyone everyone can see. So I'm not going to zoom in. Um, but if anyone can't see, I'll I will zoom in if needed. All right. So I updated the price. So my next step on here is I'm just going to update, add another day to the daily income. So obviously, we're on day eight for the month. So that will lower the daily income, the daily yield, etc. Obviously, I have to add some contracts in once I get the trades. But but maybe make it maximized on your screen for those who cannot. Well, I want to see the, the problem is I want to see the Discord to see if anyone joins live. Right now, the only person on there is Corey, but she's on mute. So that's the reason. I'm not, but I can, like I said, I could zoom in. I guess that's probably a little better. All right, so that's the update on um, Tesla. Price-wise, we'll look at the trades in a second. All right, so let's go to Coney. So if we go to Coney, we go to April. See where they closed. They closed at 26.03. Let me refresh to make sure it's accurate. All right. So Coney went down by 3.45%. And Coin closed at 245.75. And they went down by 6.56%. And obviously we'll add the eighth day to this calculation and we shall move on. Let's go to NVIDIA. Looks like someone else joined the discord F troop. Hello. If you're there. All right. Let's go to NVIDIA. NVIDIA closed at 26. Point six three and Nvidia eight eighty one point eighty six. Okay, so uh, Nvidia went down one point seven percent. Nvidia went down two point six eight percent. So pretty much everything went down today. I know last I saw Apple was the only thing up. Hey, Top Jimmy, happy Friday to you. Hey, the real Gary Gensler. And let's pull up Misty. See how they did today. My guess is not good. All right. So Misty's price closed at 35.54. And Mister's price is 1479.58. So Misty went down 3.92%. And... Um, Mr. went down 4.65%. Okay. Eight. All right. So before we look at the trades, let's go to the active tab and see how they did. So it looks like oh, I'll have to zoom in here. It looks like Misty won every single contract. Um, everything closed out of the money. Obviously, we don't know what they paid, but we'll we'll take a look at the trades in a second. But so far, so good for Misty. If anyone on the Discord uh, wants to confirm they can hear me, that would be appreciated. Oh, thank you, the real Gary Gensler. I greatly appreciate that. Coney and Misty making money. Yep.
All right, let's take a look at NVIDIA's contracts. NVIDIA. Uh, looks like the 870, possibly. Um, you know, again, we don't know what they paid, but they probably lost that. They lost that one, but it, it really doesn't matter because, you know, these two here, these, these look to be okay. Let's take a look at uh, Kony. Kony, all good. Everything's out of the money. So again, I'm expecting all these closeouts to be profitable, except for that one on Misty. And then last but not least, Tesla. The down day helps all the short calls today. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. All right. Even Tesla did good. Okay. So now if we go to the website. Um, I have all the websites open. You know, this is Tesla. Not sure. Uh, you guys could write in the chat. Who do you want to start with first? Whoever says it first will uh, will win. What does starred mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Misty, okay. Let's go to Misty. Look at that yield, 134%. All right, so for those of you that don't know, um, to get to the intraday trade, at least this is through the, uh, the desktop version, of course, um, you know, you just click the intraday download. And if you're on the phone, I've just pops up but if you're on the website it'll do like a, a download thing like this see and it says done and then you got to click open yeah of course it's not ready all right so it is not ready so we will have to talk about something else i could talk about my swing trades i did a whole bunch unless again you guys in the chat or discord bring up a topic or it's open discussion so you know as i update the uh the spreadsheets which obviously i can't at this very moment so this week I decided this was actually the day before my my GYES is they closed at penny. Oh, my guess is they closed at pennies. Yeah, hopefully, as I mean, should have meaning of life. Yeah, what is the meaning of life? Good question. I don't know. Um, so anything in white here is obviously still open. Anything in gray we talked about previously. So uh, for this week, I closed out all of these TSLT positions. This was the day before the CPI. And so it, was, it ended up being a smart move. So I made a profit of $527, which was pretty good. And then the day after, you know, I sold them at $1144 each. And then the day after, TSLT dropped again. So I was able to buy at $1054. And then the next day at $1029. So again, the, uh, I got over, I'll say, allocated. So that's why I had sold in bulk. I never want to get too over allocated on any of these, you know, these funds. These are the uh, double and triple leverage funds that I'm swing trading, which is very risky. So if I get too over allocated, you know, then any chance I get to make a profit, I'm out. If that makes sense. All right, move on to Conal. Conal is 2x. Um, coin and unfortunately by the time i saw them really tank towards the end of today i could not buy um but this is where i'm at right now my my cost basis is 69.70 and i own 20 25 shares all right some questions here in order to get this is from the real gary gensler in order to get the dividend on yield max why don't they force you to be vested in it for 30 days I hate that people coming in last second and exiting messes up the whole formula. I mean, in the end, it it's coming from their money, right? It, the money is getting deducted from their NAV, their trade price. So it's not like, you know, we're getting docked. Income-wise, you know, 
income versus expense, right? I mean, I guess you could say from that aspect, some of it may have to be paid, you know, from return of capital for that reason. But it, that's okay, too, if they pay us return of capital. So I don't think it's that big a deal. It's a big deal for my estimates. Of course, they screw up my estimates. But, you know, I'm not, I don't really care about that, to be honest. Um, so if they want to people want to do that to me it makes no sense but if they do that so be it jamal you are inspiring me to look at tslt and trade covered calls on those well uh jamal tslt it's actually it's not too great on options yet because not many people are in and out of the fund so the iv is actually not there yet so if you're going to do options tsll is probably a better alternative that's that's what i do options with they're both 2x funds I trade TSLT for swing trading, not options. Um, and it's rec shares. I'm a, I'm a big fan of rec shares. Uh, when you sold Tesla, how have you done with that, with what you re reinvested in? Honestly, pretty good. Um, you know, I, again, I've been putting it mostly to options work. I've been doing options on TSLL, which I could show you guys in a second if needed. But, um, I, you know, I've been doing doing pretty good in the market outside of today. Today was pretty bad. Everything went down, but I have no regrets at all. Um, I just, you know, I had to get out. It was just, I just don't like the way they, you know, it trades and everything. Uh, but Tesla has been doing good for those of you that do own it. Um, Jamal, I'm disappointed you sold out of Tesla. I mean, it doesn't matter if I own Tesla or not, to be honest. I'm still covering it. So, um, you know, all is good. Shouldn't matter what I own. Shouldn't matter what you want to own. Can you zoom in? I'm on iPad and I can't see numbers. All right. Happy camper is not a happy camper. So we got to zoom in here. I'll do 125. All right. Hopefully that works. Happy camper. Thanks for all your dedication from Jamal. This, uh, where is the mouse? There it is. Right, there it is. Okay, let me, let me finish these comments and I'll continue. New comments. Uh, this is why I watch on big screen TV, Redfish. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. I'm late, question mark. Not that late. What are you buying, Misty, from Gary Gensler? I'm probably not, to be honest. Um, Coney is my exposure to crypto. That's enough. I added to Coney from the Tesla. Yeah, not a bad idea. Coney's been doing really good. Do you have an opinion on AMZ? Yes, I do. I love AMZ. AMZ is its actually my favorite uh, yield max fund. Um, <clears throat> I have the most confidence in that, you know, overall. And I've been doing very, very well. And Viddy's the GOAT, that's for sure. But I just have a, I just love AMZ because I, I trust the underlying so much. Congratulations on your 10K subscribers. How do you manage to take time to post video every day, especially in the AM? Well, the AM is easy. I get up at 3 a.m., have coffee, wake up, make the video between 4 or 4.30, and then I get along my with my day. Right now, the whole house is home, so I don't know. I'm locked myself in a room. Hopefully, you guys don't hear anything uh, crazy, but it's, it's, it's hard for, harder for me to, on the weekends and you know after work at night for me to get stuff done. Can you ask if the defiance funds and do two strike prices or do they have to do only one they only have to do one i mean as far as the fines they don't have to do two they don't, they, they don't ever really do two to be honest when every time i check it's always one one strike price on defiance i assume you're talking about qqy jeppy and iwmy sometimes iwmy i've seen do two uh but it's not often how did coney do today uh, it looks like going to be a profit um, when we checked it. So I'm waiting on the trades to post. I'm going to go through some uh, swing trades real quick, and then we'll we'll go back to the trades. We'll check the website. So I also trade swing trade TQQQ. So for this week, I closed out only, again, I only had five shares for this week, and I made a profit of 1387 Not too bad. SOXL, uh, they dipped today too. I was able to buy 10 more shares, so I own 20 with an average of 42.85. Apple, I actually, they were up, so I sold out. I made a profit, again, because I was getting a little top heavy. I made a profit of $140.86 this week on AAPX. Uh, I believe this is another, I think this is Rex shares, I'm not sure. 
uh, actually should say here, I think. Um, where's AAPX? Yeah, okay, it is Rex Shares. Rex Shares, if you're listening, thank you for the t-shirts. Um, by the way, guys, Rex Shares is still giving out free t-shirts. So if you want a free Feppy shirt, uh, you might want to reach out to them. Um, you can reach out to the guy through the Discord. If you're in my Discord, if not, you could find them on Twitter. I decided to hold off on trimming my Tesla position until further our return on investment and sim price recovery. However, that could change if one of the big three, Coney, Misty, and Vidi, was to drop enough. Yeah, Top Jimmy, you are you are top heavy on Tesla, from what I remember. So, you know, I'm sure there's a lot to trim. Happy Friday. You're down 1.65% Sauston Red Sox. Do you think AMD is the next NVIDIA? Ah, AMD is like NVIDIA's baby to me. So when it came down to owning, I'd rather own NVIDIA than AMD. So I, I just have no interest in AMD. Uh, although, you know, I, I don't really know much about the companies, to be honest. So I don't know who's better. But everyone says NVIDIA is overvalued. Um, hope S-Fall will, will pay 30 cents. Yeah, they probably will. I think they're pretty sure they always do. AMD needs AMD to do something. Yeah, well, they've been tanking too. Like Dolly. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Joyce. Joyce is a big supporter. Always commenting. Greatly appreciated. Jamal, I think Tesla would trade between 160 and 185 in the next month or so. Well, that's a huge gap. So, come on, pick one or the other. I want 185. Coney on margin, Paul. All right. Risky business there. Any of these on margin is risky business, but you do it right, it's a smart, you know, it, it could work out really good. All right. Let's go back to the website. They missed the website. We click the intraday trades and then we will click open, see what comes up. Nothing. Wow. And just in case, let me refresh the website. And then click intraday trades. If this, I don't plan on doing all of them, you know, for this video, by the way. If I get to one, that should be enough. All right. Which one? Three. All right. Open. Man, sometimes they're slow on Fridays because Friday's the big trade day. So it takes them a while to update it. I'm top heavy. Oh, like Dolly Parton. Yeah. Okay. She's, <laughs> how old is she now? I'm thinking about it. Oh, you're thinking about going Coney on margin. Yeah. Well, what's what's the margin rate that you can get? Do you know? Phoebe has been doing good. Yeah, Redfish. Well, it's actually been dipping, so I continue to buy Phoebe. But yes, overall, they you know from inception, they've been doing really good. I would write covered calls on Tesla. You mean Tesla at 175 and 180 ending April 19th. Yeah, I'm going to do some covered calls um, on TSLL, though. Uh, should I drop 8000 in my Roth IRA all at once or buy in monthly? I have 8K to invest now, but what's smart? Well, first of all, the Roth IRA has a contribution limit. So I think it's it's either 6500 or 7000 last I checked. So you can't put 8000 in unless, of course, it's 7000 and you're over the age of, was it 50 or 55? Then you can do another 1000 I believe. But either way. Whether you put it in all now or in pieces, it doesn't really matter. It matters what you do with the money than when it's in there. Because even if you put 8000 in and you only trade about 500 at least you'll be earning interest on that other money, right? It'll be like in a little money market automatically earning some interest. So for me, I'd just throw it in there. And then, no, I would not invest all at once. I would piecemeal it. I would dollar cost average. Since that's your maximum contribution, I would dollar cost average all the way up until December. You know, that way you, you know, you could play with it the whole year. It's up to you though. Again, your money, 13.6%. That's the rate. Oh my God. That's horrible. I would not do that. Misty $5 today, roughly. I don't know what that means. Um, $5. What? It's 8k. It's 8k. What's 8k? Oh, your limit, your your Roth IRA limit. That's that's a good limit. I recommend 50 50, 7,000, and then the extra. Oh, so it is 7,000 now. So they raised it 7,000 extra, 1,000 above 50. Yeah. Okay. 
Hey, R.O.D., do you invest with margin? No, I do not. I am not brave enough yet. I do not trust myself, so I'm not, not going there. Plus, the interest rates are ridiculous, as you can see from based on what Paul just told us. What was it? Let me scroll back up. 13.6%. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Schwab is probably just, just as high. Getting my first $100 dividend this month. Congrats, Drew Money. That's awesome. It's a great feeling once you hit that 100 bucks, man. It took me a long time because, you know, I, I, well, I invested in the dividend growth stocks way back when, so it took me forever to hit $100. Does anyone know why the market ended so much lower today? Any news events? Jamal, I would like to know too because I haven't checked the news. Paul Kamar does. Yeah, yeah, I know Kamar trades on margin. Redfish. Uh, banks. Banks what? What about banks? Oh, Iran versus Israel. Yeah, I heard someone said something about a war. I don't even know what's going on. I don't really watch the news, to be honest. Congrats, Drew Money, from Joyce Johnson. See, we're a team here. We're congrat congratulating each other. Paul, it was Schwab. Yeah, I know he uses Schwab. So, yeah, that that was uh, that's another reason for me not to use margin. That's way too high. Um, you know, because if you think about if you can use, like, AMZ or someone like that, on margin or, you know, even like wide max, they pay what? 30%, 25%, 30%. You know, it's still, it's not, it's not a big enough gap, not a big enough gap for me. Minus 6.5% in Moomoo. Fidelity is 13% though. See, I guess Moomoo, man. I don't know. They reached out to me too. Maybe I should look into Moomoo. All right. Back to my swing trades, TNA. They've been tanking, and I've been buying, so I own about 30 shares. Um, we'll see how it goes next week. MSFX, which is Microsoft, um, I own only 40 shares. I didn't get to buy anything this week. And UGT, nothing. And NVIDIA has been tanking, so I bought at 110, and then I ended up buying again at 90. It's like this thing just doesn't stop. So hopefully, as soon, hopefully they turn it around next week week my average on nvdx is 97.48 but when i got when i get the opportunity to make any type of profit i'll probably sell just to you know have the funds available again uh 7.25 percent rate on n1 okay that's not bad thanks to my dividend payment this month was 27 is that 27 dollars and 50 cents or twenty seven thousand five hundred? I have learned so much from you, Ethan and Cesar. Thank you. You have changed my life. <coughs> uh, that's probably a stretch. I don't think that's the case. But I do appreciate the kind words. I, I know Ethan. I don't know who C Caesar is. Cesar. I know Caesar from crypto world, but not in the uh, dividend world, investing world. Who's uh, Share his YouTube if you want. Or just say his, type his name, his YouTube name. I'll, I'll check him out. All right, what do we got here? Actually, let me go back to the Misty website. 27,500, yes, wow, that's a big number and congrats, that's amazing. Do you sell puts, calls, or both? I sell both, because I do the wheel. So I sell puts till I get assigned, and then when I get assigned, I sell calls if the premium's there. If not, if my average is too high, then I continue to sell puts. All right, let me check the intraday trades. Uh, right here. Let me get rid of this. All right, yeah, they're taking way too long. No, we can do. We can, um, we can go to YMAX. All right, let's see what we got here. Can you explain the differences between NVDX and NVIDIA? Yeah, NVDX. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you the name of the fund. So NVDX is right here. It's the 2X long NVIDIA daily target ETF. All that means is you take what NVIDIA does and this does the same thing two times. So if NVIDIA goes up 5%, this one goes up 10%. If NVIDIA goes down 10%, this one goes down 20%. So it's double the good, double the bad, right? So it's a 
but with that, you know, becomes, you know, higher risk, higher reward. So I buy any of these stocks, any of these ETFs on a dip. If it's a dip of 5% or greater, I buy it on those down days. And if it continues to go down, I will continue to buy it. And then once it flips and I'm in a profit, then either I sell it piece, piecemeal or I sell it all at once. Um, lately, I've been selling it all at once because I've been using a lot of cash. So I'm trying to make sure I have enough cash to always average down if needed, if that makes sense. ROD and Happy Camper, just want to thank you for all you community watch religiously. Thank you, Jamal. Yeah, Happy Camper, man. She takes a lot of time into her videos. You guys got to subscribe to her. I don't know if she hit a, a thousand subs, but we got to help her hit a thousand subs. Um, so, yeah, I think Happy Camper with Dividends is her YouTube. So go check it out. Just started into AMZ. How many do you have? Good question. I forget. Uh, where is where to, oh, there it is. Um, where is it? Where's AMZ? I have two thirty in AMZ. Okay, two hundred thirty shares. And currently, I am up capital gain wise four hundred and thirty seven dollars, but with dividends, I am up one thousand one hundred and ninety on uh, that position. So it's doing pretty good. Oh my God! Happy Camper has nine hundred ninety six subscribers. All right, four of you need to subscribe right now. Um, what we got? Congrats! Yep. How often does Alti Ad remove stocks? I mean, way too frequent. In fact, let's go look at Ulti. Ulti's crazy, man. It is a crazy fun, but I, I'm just such a degenerate gambler that I have to be in on the action. So if we go to download all holdings, this should come up, we hit open. All right, so here are the Ulti holdings. All right, what do we got here? Let me scroll through some of the messages real quick. I am on voice loop between YouTube and Discord. Yeah, Paul, you can mute. I would mute the YouTube and then just listen on the Discord. But if you're not talking on the Discord, there's no point. By the way, I don't know how many people are in the Discord, but it looks like four. That's it. No, nope. if, uh, if you're on the Discord and you want to join the convo, feel free. Uh, Redfish, I don't think Happy Camper even sleeps. <laughs> Probably not. Her videos come out at like what 1 a.m. Do comments. I like it. All right, here we go. I've been watching HCD. Happy Camper is very detail oriented, but love it. Just subscribe to Happy Camper. All right, you got another one. How many you at Happy Camper? Subbed Happy last week. Hi R D. Great videos. I watch every day. Keep up the awesome work. I have 8,000 Tesla, 233 NVIDIA, 200 Misty, and 100 Kony. Wow, Will Kim. That's a sweet dividend. Happy Camper, I just subbed. All right, there's another one. Drew Money, thank you. Just subscribed to Happy Camper. She's at 996. Well, we just got three more. All right, she just hit 1,000. All right. Congratulations, Happy Camper. You did it. You're welcome. All right, <clears throat> back to Ulti. Um, so who do they own? They own Coin. I, I, see these tickers? I wish they had the name. I don't know half of these tickers, but they own Coin. That makes me happy. You guys know any of these? Feel free to just mention it. Um, Labu is one of my uh, leveraged funds I trade. Mara, that's like a crypto one. That's a very volatile one. MSTR. See, see guys, I own MSTR through Ulti, so you guys should be happy about that. Root, what the hell is root run? That's a new one. Sedge, that's a new one. See, every time I check, they have new ones, but I love it, man. I love it. They've gone nowhere hey, but Ryan. down. Hello, hey, can you hear me? Yes, hey, Corey. Yeah, I was just gonna say so. If you actually want to know what these are, uh, just let me know because I have them pulled up here. 
Uh, and yeah, they they added two brand new ones yesterday, and that was Run and Wolf. Run and Wolf, huh? All right. So what's Run? So it's Sun Room Inc. It's in the sector of industrials, and it's uh, the industry is electrical equipment. Mm, okay. And then what? Yeah, what is? What is Wolf? And then Wolf is Wolf Speed Inc. Information Technology Semiconductors and Semiconductor um, hold on, Equipment. Yeah. All right. I assume they're volatile. I don't. I still don't know who these people are, but. Yeah. Um, let's see. So Ron has an IB of one hundred and fifteen percent right now, and. What was that? Wolf. Wolf is at 108% IB. Okay. Yeah. Someone just said run equals sun run. They had a big drop due to CPI. Yeah. So a lot of these are so volatile. They probably tank. They did tank this week with the CPI. Are you able to tell when they leave out of these? Are they leaving out of a lot of positions or are they gaining so much more money that they're just adding new? um they'll well they, they, they drop out of them there's some of these that have been here since inception uh but that yeah they'll drop out and once you know they'll replace some of them right now they're at 22 they're at the most that they've had uh since they've started okay uh, by the way the people on youtube if you can comment if you can hear uh corey happy camper please confirm last time i think they were able to but i don't, I don't think i've done this on the macbook yet oh there you go Corey. you have the sweetest accent great job on your video so you... <laughs> <laughs> thank you and they said yes yes all right so how, so how many subs you got at this moment you got my name what's that no, how are, you, are you talking about me yeah yeah you your thousand what uh, uh, i have a thousand five there you go Woo. all right big time now just got to get those hours in your set. That. Yeah, the uh, on Ulti, our largest, um, our biggest IV right now is Roots, which is in the sector of financials, and it's at 150%. Oh, my God. Yeah, and the lowest one is BRT. It's also industrials, and it's at 75%. And did you do, did you do an Ulti, Ulti estimate yet? I did. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you want to say. Yeah, I can. Uh, you know, to sum it up, because I, I really just had it in the daily and stuff. I didn't do a separate one, but people kept asking. So I did separate it out and go over my spreadsheet and my thoughts and calculations. But in the end, um, I think that, you know, if you look at they paid a dollar six for 10 days, which is about half of a month, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that most people are going to expect $2 or something, but this thing has dropped to $17. And I just honestly don't see them paying out $2 and dropping it to 15 because that means it's dropped $5, you know, yeah. um, in six weeks. So, you know, but I also don't think they can't, they can't pay like a dollar because then that's the same amount as the two weeks. So if it was me, you know, my opinion, if it was me and I had to do this, I would probably do a dollar fifty. But I'm hoping that, you know, well, I'm thinking that yield max may do a dollar seventy five if they want to be a little bit conservative and not try to double it just because, you know, it was a dollar six last time. But we'll see. I mean, I, I have numbers and, you yeah. know, they're not great. <laughs> <laughs> so so you but say dollar fifty. Between a dollar fifty, dollar seventy five. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because if it yeah. was me, I'd do a dollar fifty, but I think yield might, max might be okay with doing a dollar seventy five. Yeah, you know, or Vega, you know. Uh, but as far as looking at the numbers, they've lost a lot of money. You know, they um, and the net. If you just look at the net short calls, they've only earned fifty one cents. If you look at the premium for the short calls, uh, they've only earned a dollar thirty three. A share now Monday, you know they'll um, do all their trades for next week and they'll get premium and everything for that, which will be right before declaration. So they will get more money in. Uh, but as we've seen with the yield max single stock ETFs, they don't necessarily just go off of that premium amount. So 
Paul says, I can't find a push button to speak. That's a setting things, I, I think, on the Discord. I don't even see Paul in the Discord unless he's under a different name. You don't, <clears throat> when you join, it just lets you talk, right? Yeah, just unmute. Um, it, I think the first time that I did it, I had to do something, oh, but okay. now all I have to do is unmute. Okay. Yeah, everyone always has that issue, so I have no idea what, and I, I don't think I ever had that issue, but I don't know. All right, so more people saying congrats, tax day for us on Monday. Mm. I was Zelly Jelly. Okay. Yeah, I did see Zelly Jelly. That's a, that's a nice name you got there. Right. He's uh, joined a little late. Anything you bought today? Yeah, I bought, um, what the heck did I buy? The usual WiMAX, Ulti, Phoebe, and then one other. I can't remember, um, but I'm running out of money. Lots of, oh, the intraday trades are up, huh? Let's take a look at Misty together. I'm sure you love Friday's uh, intraday trades too, right? <laughs> a lot. Me? Yeah. Uh, they're not up. Yeah, that's, you know, yeah, they're not up on my spreadsheet yet, but I'm not going to the website. Um, but yeah, the Fridays, you know, those are the longer videos for the single stock. And then Mondays, the long videos for Ulti, because that's when they do most of their trades. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how you do Ulti. I just look at Ulti and I get a headache. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, you know, it's building everything as I go, right? Because this one started from scratch. And, um, yeah. Yeah, just <laughs> however we can get there. All right. So Do you see the trades up? I don't. I don't either. Well, they're not pulling into my spreadsheet anyway. Tesla inverse would have been a good buy. Yeah. John Smith loves Coney and Viddy. Misty, Coney and Viddy are my biggest positions. And Viddy, I don't own enough Coney, unfortunately. All right, let me refresh again. Let's see. Yeah, it's not there. I give up. Yeah, I would think they'd be there within the next 30 minutes, but, you know. You don't know. Yeah. All right. Let me go back to swing trades. Dan Otto, can I hire you? To do what, Dan Otto? Margin it. Mm -hmm. Z I V B twenty five percent yield. I don't what is Z I V B? It's better than S Fall, no volume though. Let me get these stupid icons to go away. Still not used to this MacBook thing. Z V uh, Z I V B is a one-time short VIX midterm futures strategy ETF. Twenty-five percent <laughs> yield. Someone said. I've never heard of that one myself. All right, who else did I sell this week? By the way, guys, just because Corey gave us the ulti estimate doesn't mean you still shouldn't watch her uh, her video. I don't know if you posted it yet, but uh, it's uh, yeah, it's, I did the separate video as requested and you know just to update and show the numbers of every day like i do the other ones i hadn't planned on it but since people kept asking i went ahead and did it um so they're short yeah what are we looking for you're looking for misty install flooring no yeah okay i would i'd be the worst at that job tesla trades updated to what all right let me try misty again Usually when one posts, they all post. They're there. They're there? Yeah. When I actually go to the website, it's there. 
Okay. Misty has a six there. It's just not a, let's see. Sometimes in Google, you know, sheets, it might take a minute for everything to pull in okay. or update. Okay. All right, let's see. There we go. Coney's up. Okay. So let's take this, put it to the side. Did you get Misty up? No, but I have Coney. I'll, I'll do Coney first. I'm not going to do all these on the video anyway because it take too long, but I figured I'll do one or two. All right, what did they do? Oh, no, they sold out of the synthetic. Of course they did. Let me see. Yeah, they did. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let me check up on my comments. It's so hard to keep up. There's 129 people watching. Can I hire you to handle my portfolio from Dan? Yeah, if you want to lose all your money, sure, right? I watched her ulti early this morning. There you go. You got a, you got a viewer, Redfish, right there. I'm averaging. Thank you, Redfish. <laughs> I'm averaging down in my M1 Finance a bit every day. But M1 Finance doesn't want to add Misty and Ulti. What? That makes no sense to me why M1 Finance is always like last to add everything. Why even use them if they, if they do that? Paul says, exciting, much love. I bought 80 Tesla today from Perushery. I'm adjusting my portfolio to make things simple, going to focus on Fepi, NVIDIA, Phoebe, Amzi, and WiMAC from posting first. That would be a good portfolio, in my view. I own all of them. All right, so if you guys can see, Coney posted. Here's the intraday trades. I'll try to zoom in. There you go. So... squeeze it in here all right so they sold the call for the synthetic and they they buy to close the put and then they added what the hell this is the new the new synthetic is 260 and they closed out the 257.50 44 cents and they opened a new position at 270. One strike again. I don't understand why, but whatever. All right, so let me zoom in on this. I don't know if people want to watch me do spreadsheets, but that's what's happening. Do you ever go live when you update your spreadsheet? Do you ever go live at all, Corey? No. no. I tried like because uh max had talked about how he went live so he didn't have to upload and do all that stuff so i tried it several times i think i was using Str stream labs and then i tried a couple of others um and i couldn't get it to work like i think i got on there finally and they could see my screen but then nobody could hear me and i tried it like five times one night and i finally had to give up yeah yeah it's uh it's a lot to get used to all this stuff is this control A? No. Actually, before. Rename. S Y N two six zero. A working meeting. Everybody's going to update their spreadsheets at the same time. <laughs> S C S U. 
I love how people have their own spreadsheets too. So, oh yeah, I remember uh, what's his face. Um, oh my god, I forgot his name now. He's been gone so long. Remember the guy who did the Power BI? Uh, uh, yeah, Airborne. Airborne, yeah. He he always helped me out because I got a lot of things wrong. Yeah, but it was a it's a work in progress. I thought about doing the Power BI stuff. The problem is, is because I'm having to do all this and I spend so much time already every day, I don't have time to go start and start from scratch, right? And to Power BI. So, yeah, it's yeah. hard. Congrats, Corey from N. Uh, JPG. It's a long name. Congrats on the MacBook. I suggest getting a mouse. I get a mouse, actually. I'm, and I am using it. But having around the corner, thought we might be having a tough meeting in two weeks i figured they'd be buying up until the having but who knows wish, wish i knew i kick rocks says paul all right so what did they close out they closed they sold the call for 1311 a share they should have closed it yesterday um and they closed the put for 709. Yep, so they made 10.6 million on the synthetic. Not bad. Oh wait, it's gotta pick up this down here. Oh yeah, I don't know if See, it's, it's certain things it doesn't do, like Excel. There you go. That'll help the numbers. So that's the 260. That's the 250. I know I'm going to mess something up because I'm live. But, uh, that's the way it goes. Yeah. Feeling the pressure. Hey, Max, I see you. Oh, Max just joined the Discord. TGIF. Yes, Max. How's it going, Max? Feel free to join the voice chat if you want, Max. Um, what do we got here? Any any YouTubers on here? We're we're, we're getting subs today for people, so <laughs> uh -huh. only if we like you though. All right. So you know, um, you had said something before about, you know, the uh, Monday night live. Did you do that this week? No, I couldn't. There was baseball. I had okay. it scheduled for this week, and then we had a last-minute practice. So I, it's, I planned on doing every Monday night, but now with the schedule of for you know sports, I have no idea. It's going to be Monday if I could do it. If not, who knows? <laughs> Well, but before you had mentioned that, I was thinking at some point we should do a ride team live video with, you know, like me, you, Max, Reaching Riches, um, Mike, the stock scalper. The tactical stock um, scalper. Come on. Yeah. Tactical. I missed <laughs> it. I'm sorry. Uh, it's because I'm live. I don't see I'm that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm missing somebody. But the ride team, you know, the uh, the DJ, the Gen Gen X something Gen X investor. Oh. Yep. We should invite the guy that copied my spreadsheets too, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, people are calling him out though, so I'm just watching. All right, so they opened a new synthetic 260 517 expiration. They paid 27. 25 for the call and they got 29.95 for the put so they're making money already all right so we go down here what happened i guess people sold out we lost 650 contracts all right let me let me check the chat i completely forgot um yeah i've been reading them i hear the real bull run will be in the fall this year into early 25 
I'm new to this channel. Is there a video talking about the people who run Yield Max? The people who run Yield Max. Um, I'm assuming like maybe the interviews with Jay is what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't have any interviews with Jay, if that's what you're asking, Iggy. But I have a million videos on Yield Max if you want to check the Yield Max playlist. Max, I'm going to watch your live video. You just made one. ROD is uh, done here. Well, once ROD is done here. Um, Nat Div Life posting first. I'm waiting for that. <clears throat> Max said, my live video is nothing special. Just an end of week wrap up. But the buffer report is good this week. Nat Div Life. Yeah, I'm holding my LTCN until then. Yeah, we'll have to... Um, if everyone, I think streaming yard might be the easiest. You can all, like we can all create a, or someone can create a live and then add people. Um, okay. And then I think you can add, well, I, I actually bought the paid version. So I I can add probably a decent amount of people. Um, so it doesn't matter who sets it up. But yeah, if, it, if I'm available, I'm down. Talk about whatever, spreadsheets and all that. Fun jazz, right? Bunch of, yeah. Bunch of formula talk. People love that, right? Oh, Max yeah. got the paid so Virginia. version. What's I'm that? Sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm cheap. I don't have any paid versions of anything. Well, I was doing that route. And then, like, once I had the interview, I'm like, I got to pay for the Zoom because I can't have a time limit when I'm interviewing someone, yeah. right? And so, so I ended up canceling Zoom. And I, I was like, I'll just pay for StreamYard, see if it's worth it. I don't know if the paid version does much more than the free, but whatever. We'll see. All right. We'll get Max in the hey, comments. So Virginia, I know, right? But right before Max, Virginia asked about AIYY. Um, so just to give you a quick thing on that one, the reason that one's doing so bad is because the stock price is way underneath the synthetic um, strike price. So like as of today, well, as of yesterday, cause we don't have the updated holdings and stuff yet, you know, to, just to close those out would cost over $12.7 million and it expires next week. And I don't think there's any way that they're going to come up 32% to get above that synthetic strike price. Uh, so that's why it's looking really bad. And that's why they, um, the stock price is tanked. Yeah. It happens. I did not. Well, in the beginning, I debated touching that one, but I'm glad I didn't. I don't need all that volatility. Ulti's enough for me now. Right. What happened to this formula? Do you own Ulti? I do. I bought some today. There you go. On the the big dips. In fact, though, I haven't been buying in a, in a while, really, or much, because of the YouTube videos. They like taking over my life pretty much. <laughs> so I don't even get to do much trading myself, except for now. I've started a couple of projects to do videos on, so that'll make me do trades. But today, I yeah, I bought a lot. I bought a lot of stuff. Uh oh, nice. You got to share your trades too. Come on. People like when people yeah. share trades. So, see, I don't share my trades. Oh, um, it's top secret. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I just <laughs> don't. All right. Let's see. Every now and then somebody will ask me, but go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> That's the game. No, I'm just catching up on. Oh. Max, Nat Div, Div Life said Max and retire on dividends are the best. They left you out. It's messed up. I know, right? <laughs> How about that? Today was a good Today day to buy. Yes, buy. it was. Today was, yes, it was terrible. It was just blood everywhere. Corey, what was the what was the finish your thought as far as chair and trade? <sighs> I don't know. I guess because you know, I don't want to tell people, oh, I bought this and bought it this and you know, I'm nobody, right? I don't know anything. I'm just I don't even have a great plan on my investing. So I don't want anybody to try to think they should follow me or, or listen, do what I do. So I just, I don't share them. 
Um, you know, I think I've had some people, you know, ask me if I own things and I'll tell them, yeah, you know, but I always make sure to say it's not financial advice because, uh, yeah, my stuff's crazy. Now I will say I have, uh, the other day I did share some stuff. I finally did the video for the project, the WiMAX project that I've been doing. So that now did have some actual trades. Uh, so I'm sharing all of that data with y'all, uh, for that portfolio. Yeah, as you throw that disclaimer in, you're covered. I think, you know, it's not. <laughs> yeah, we I I just. Hey, Sharon, where, where, where are you talking about sharing them at? In the in your on your YouTube page or like are there like snapshots in the Discord? No, it would be on the YouTube uh, channel. Yeah. And if you haven't seen what I'm talking about as far as the trade, so I did start a project, and I and it's a totally different. Um, you know, cover things, you can tell it from the rest of them, but it's basically me purchasing all the underlying and doing it evenly weighted uh, to mimic YMAX, um, but doing it myself, you know, in one portfolio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that would probably be good, be a good idea. Uh, yeah. I, I, I know when I first came aboard uh, Retired on Dividends page, uh, I was doing an evaluation on Tesla and I was, you know, kind of doing the same thing where, you know, we were getting our Tesla dividends, but there was some stuff that I was doing to match the Tesla dividends. And I remember sharing those trades, just, you know, the snapshots of them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it, it gives people a uh, kind of a portal into your thought process, you know, and yeah, some people are going to understand it and some people won't, you know, but uh, I don't think you should really be too worried about somebody, you know, making a mistake. I mean, it's 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 on them if they try to do something that they don't understand. You know what I mean? That's, that's right. not that's not your you don't need to be accountable for that. Right. Yeah. yeah and um, I think as a YouTuber, it helps. Some people may not think you're even investing in it or like putting your money where your mouth is so that that could be another you know reason that you know oh you, you're talking about the guys that <laughs> are using uh virtual accounts in the background. <laughs> well yeah there, i'm sure there's plenty of youtubers that just talk a bunch of crap and they don't buy anything you know so it's good to just keep everything real and straight you know this is what I'm buying. This is it. You know, you you want to see? Fine, right? It's not like I know what I'm doing. You know, the, I'm just buying when I think it's best. And obviously, it's sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But yeah, maybe you know, once I get settled down and get through my list of video ideas or things that I want to do, maybe I'll do a video on you know my updated tracker that I have with all my accounts and show, you know, where I'm at and what I own. It's just a mess right now because I don't have time to actually update it <laughs> because it's not a YouTube thing. So I don't update it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just for your personal, it's, it's for your personal use right now. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't but share. As soon as I make way. something, as soon as I make something a YouTube thing, then I'll actually start doing things. So that's why I like the project uh, with the WiMAX stuff, because then it's making me trade and do things. Yeah, when you own WiMAX, it it helps, I'm sure, for you to do the tr to track all of the others, right? Because you're affected. So, you know, that's why, like, when I did all, you know, Tesla and all these, it, it it's a, it's the feeling's a little more satisfying when when you do own the stock, you know, especially when they do well, right? Obviously I'm covering Misty from day one and I never bought it. So I'm like, mm. I'm watching them double and pay a $4 dividend. And I'm sitting here on the sideline, like, no, 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 you know, but, uh, it, it's still, I'm still happy. It's doing well, but at the same time, it's like, well, I missed that one. But, yeah, I only bought five shares on day one, and I almost didn't do that because I had to pay like twenty dollars and ten cents, and I wanted it at twenty dollars. <laughs> but yeah, I wish I'd have bought a lot more myself. But we were so used to, 
you know, being tiptoeing around these because at first they usually drop, right? So we went into this with the wrong, you know, attitude. Yeah, well, plus I had Coney for crypto, so I wasn't really rushing to jump in. I have no regrets on it. It doesn't matter, but because that thing is so volatile, it could drop as fast as it jumped. So it's all good. Well, well heck, right after it paid the $4 dividend, like the next day or two, it dropped another $4. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, it's been dropping. Um, all right. I filled in Coney. I'll do the re actually, let me do the comments. Max said you're the best. Uh, Thank you, Max. You guy, gal are doing great. I don't know what that means. Yes, everyone is accountable for their own training decisions, but the YouTubers need to make disclaimers for personal liability. Yeah, that's why I do. I don't know, but just to cover my own butt, you know. Okay, so here's the up. I'm probably only going to do Coney, and I'm probably going to head out in five minutes. But Coney, sure. Coney made, like I said, 10.6 million, closing out the, uh, you know, the 250 synthetic. So all in all, you know, they made 4.7 million. Um, for the 250 synthetic from day one. And then they opened the 260 synthetic and they made 4.9 million right off the bat because obviously that at the price point that, that they got in, um, the put was much, much more valuable, which, hey, I'll take it. The strike is 260, coin is at 245. So they never do that. They, they usually open a synthetic at the money and they decided to go against that and do a 260. It's kind of against the prospectus, but anyway. Um, They're also going into the, you know, the having right, in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, which could be good or bad. Right. Uh, so this is the good part. They only paid 44 cents to close out the 257.50s that were remaining open. So that was pretty much all profit. Uh, they made... 7.5 million on the 257.50 contracts. And then they opened one new position, the 270, which is 9.87% out of the money. Hey, that's good. 6.3 million. Hey, I'll take that. So total income now on the weekly call is 14.4 million. That's pretty damn good. So all income, $1.80 per share, and weekly income, $0.89 cents per share. So Coney continues to rule. So that's a pretty good day. Let me check up with the comments. Max says, I always forget to say it. <laughs> I doubt it holds up in court anyway. Yeah, you never know. Hello, R. Oh, D, I just wanted to say hello. Thanks for all the info you provide. I'm leaning. I'm learning a ton on my morning commute from Mr. Dal and Gina. So it's good to know a lot of people listen. And this is good to keep in mind, Corey and Max, um, that people, a lot of people, you know, aren't even watching. They're just listening. So it's good to explain it, you know. So it, it's helpful like both ways, right? Sometimes like in the beginning, I was always just assuming people see the visual, but now I try to, you know, do both essentially. Um, yeah, so I can't, I can't really do that with my videos because they would be hours long. So you almost have to watch my videos, you know, watch the screen if you want to see all the numbers, because especially in the single stock, you know, ETF, I have the 19 that I'm doing in detail. And then, of course, you have the other three fund of funds. So, um, you know, I hit some of the highlights, but I do provide data. And I'm like, well, if you want to see this, do a screenshot, because I have so many complaints about the length of my videos. Um, it's just, it's hard to cover everything when you're covering um, a lot of them at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Your, 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 your spreadsheet, you might as well just not sleep then, you know, what's the point? You just, just do like a six hour video. Uh, and uh, Max get Max watches me while he's on the crapper. So I'm happy to be the, the crapper content. <laughs> so uh, 
Yeah, I watch a lot of people on the crapper. Um, all right, so I'm only going to cover Coney, um, but I think I'm done for the night. Um, Corey, uh, I see Max is on, but um, if either of you have anything to say, uh, feel free. If not, I'll do my spiel and then head out. No, I don't think I have anything else okay. to say. It's just, and you know, if nobody has heard of me yet or, you know, seen my videos, feel free to come check out the channel. Um, but, yeah, that's it. And uh, thank you, uh, Mark. I appreciate it and your support and everything as well. Yeah, just to, for those of you that weren't here, Corey hit 10, no, 1,000 subscribers. So, we all have to congratulate her on her YouTube channel. You know, it's not easy. She certainly put in the work for it, so it was earned. Um, so, you know, guys, feel free. If you haven't subbed to her, it's Happy Camper with Dividends. Um, but I think I'm done for the day for the live. I may go live this Monday at 5 o'clock again. So stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know if you and Max are available, but we can do something if, if you are, if you want. Um, but as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, nor is Corey. Uh, these, our videos are for fun and entertainment. So hopefully I had fun. And, um, like I always say, if you did hit the like button and, uh, let's see, heard about through ROD. So subscribe previously. Okay. Thanks to all of you and your hard work. All right. Thank you all for joining. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you on the morning video. And thanks for joining, Corey. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.